Greetings, adventurous drinkers, and welcome to my bar. I'm Ansel Birch, the Indecisionist, and I'm here to be your dungeon barkeep for the day. And since it's Halloween, I am bringing a special drink, a house special, the Graveyard Gimlet. Now, this one was designed by my friend Leland Fisher, a trained bartender who knows what he's doing, which means it's going to be better than anything I've made for myself. Uh, the title was suggested by Richard Kunyashik, uh, and I have to say, as soon as I saw it, I knew it had to be a drink that we made on purpose. So the Graveyard Gimlet is going to be very similar to a standard Gimlet in a lot of ways. We're going to use uh, two ounces of gin, standard. Uh, you can replace that with vodka if you prefer. We're also going to be using one ounce of uh, simple syrup. The simple syrup we're going to be using today is a special simple syrup, which I made myself with Leland's instructions, uh, and it's a vanilla bean simple syrup. So what you need to do is get yourself three vanilla beans. Now you can get these at the grocery store, although they're a little bit more expensive and my local grocery only had one bean at a time. So I contacted a company from apparently somewhere in Brazil and they mailed me th uh, the vanilla beans that I needed. You know, that company. Uh, so I brought those vanilla beans in, you slice open the pod and uh, you're gonna scrape out of the inside of that pod all of the little black flecks. Those are the actual vanilla beans. Or those are the vanilla seeds that are inside that vanilla bean pot. So you're gonna scrape those out, three vanilla beans worth, into a cup of sugar. You're gonna stir that around, and then add to that three quarters of a cup of hot, not boiling, but hot water. It's gonna sink into that sugar immediately, bubble satisfyingly, and then you get to stir it around until everything's well incorporated. Find something to put that in, let it cool, and you've got yourself vanilla bean simple syrup. And that's really what's gonna make the difference for this entire cocktail. It, it adds to the flavor, it adds to the color, it adds to the look. It gives it sort of this gray cast, as well as adding the little black flecks floating on top to make it look a little bit dangerous and Halloween-y. Um, this really does look like something from out of a graveyard, and I think it's absolutely perfect. So let's cut over to the tabletop cam and watch it all come together. We begin our adventure with lime. You can see I have already sliced into this lime with my plus two knife of keenness. We're going to squeeze out every last bit of juice. We're going to need it for this graveyard gimlet, this special spell for this special night. Juice the entire lime and pour out into your jigger. You will need one ounce into the tin. Next, we will need gin, a spirit for the resurrections. Did I say resurrections? I'm using London dry gin, but you can use any gin you like. Pour that into your tin. And now it's time for the special ingredient. The reagent we worked so hard for. Vanilla simple syrup. Notice the small black flecks floating in the gray pool. They remind us of our unholy purpose on this night. The gimlet is nearly prepared. Now we must cool it. Do four rough d6s of cold damage to your drink. The moon rises high. Remember your purpose. Put the top of your shaker on and shake until the ice breaks up and cools the outside of the shaker. Enjoy that shaker ASMR. And pop the top.
to remove the larger pieces of vanilla bean and the pith of the lime, we are going to double strain this beverage using a hawthorn strainer and a standard kitchen strainer. The time is almost nigh, heroes. In tonight's adventure, travel to the graveyard. Stop the cultists by infiltrating their numbers. Keep a weather eye for zombies and other animated dead. Note that the beverage looks like a full moon on a night overlooking a graveyard. Add your bitters. And gird your loins. And that's the graveyard gimlet. So, let's give it a taste. Now, I am going to move the spider webs. They're being held on by that spider because uh, they put little ho hooks on them, which is super clever. I don't recommend this for your parties, but it looked good for camera, I hope. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's... This is the best cocktail I've made so far on this show. Please go out and make it. It's so good! Um, if you can't make your own vanilla bean simple syrup, uh, I suspect vanilla syrup like you might get for coffees would work okay in a pinch. It wouldn't be my first inclination, but I, I think you could make it work. Um, gosh, it's just... It's a perfect little gimlet. It's, you know, it's it's... It's gin, it's simple syrup, it's lime juice, a little bit of bitters. It's it's everything you want. Uh, and it's got that little bit of vanilla extraness, a little special something. Uh, and I think if you if you look at it closely, it does it the vanilla adds that sort of gray cast to it, and you also get to see those little black flecks. Um, and gosh, it really the camera's just not selling it. Um, but yeah, if you can see those little black flecks on the bottom. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Thanks so much for adventuring to my bar today. I'm still new here on YouTube, and that means that liking this video, putting in a comment, and subscribing to the channel makes a huge difference. I'm currently on a drive to get to 500 subscribers on YouTube. When I get to 500 subscribers on YouTube, Chicagoans rejoice, because that means it's time for me to add Malort to my rail. Any bar that's anywhere near Chicago, and my weird dimension is somewhere near Chicago, uh, any bar in Chicago worth its salt has to have Malort on the rail, and I'm one of them. So, once we get to 500, Malort can be added into all of the random cocktails that I do in my live streams, which, for now, are remaining on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Thank you so much once again. Drink adventurously.